going on, everybody? Welcome to a very, very, very special episode of Hype Talking. Like always, we got Big Boy Johnny. What it do? We got Tang Tang and Kay. Pretty we go. What up, y'all? We got Sky Pilot the dog, and today we are gonna be going over cop or drop on upcoming sneaker yes, releases. Sir. But today we're gonna be doing something a little bit differently. It's gonna be focusing on diversity. All right, okay. not just Nikes, you know, other brands as sure. well. You know, branch it out. Branching out. All right, y'all ready? Let's, Let's go. go. All right, so first, sneaker up. You know, we're talking about diversity over okay, here. Okay, you know, okay. basketball sneakers no longer need to be endorsed by just athletes. Yeah, very true. Very true. Actually, we kind of got an athlete himself, the man Kanye West. Oh, oh yeah. Athlete. His body looked non-athlete to me, <laughs> dog. I need to be changed, dog. There's a little bit of Lamborghini in everything I do. So Easy I, is the Lamborghini of shoes. <laughs> I was waiting for you to kind very of true, justify your point. How is he an athlete? Uh, you know, uh, there was one point where Kanye was actually really ripped. Do you guys sure. remember? There was one point where Kanye was sane. There was one point where Johnny used to be really... Uh, oh, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. But low blow. I apologize. I don't, I don't remember that. Oh, I do, Johnny. I do. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We got the Yeezy basketball sneakers. Bam! These. Let me know. Let me know. Let me Ooh, know. Let me right know. Right off the bat, they're hot. What? They look like Under Armour shoes. They look like the the uh, the, the Stephen Curry twos, the little high tops that he has. Oh yeah, they do. Ugly. They do. They look like ugly. disrespectful. Okay. These look like ugly. a movie prop. Look, look, look. A movie prop. Look, I like the shape. First of all, they're a basketball shoe, and I can see myself wearing them off the court. Off and the court? You know what other basketball shoes out there that you could wear off the court? What? Jordans, threes, fours, Do sixes. Do not compare Those, are, these those were made with... in the 80s. <laughs> these? Those were made in the 80s. These exactly. are dope, man. Basketball sneakers back in the day are now lifestyle. These are trying to be like we know, almost modern. We almost 2020, dog. I love okay. the way these look. In my opinion, I feel like it has like the right, you know, it has suede, has 3M. The shape of the shoe is perfect with some like, nice sweats. No, 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 no. Have you he seen even talking about the performance on? He's like, it looks good with sweats. I can't, no, believe, he, I can't believe he's talking about wearing these for a lifestyle. Yeah. And myself for basketball, when I wear a basketball sneaker, I want to play like the player. I want to picture <laughs> myself as Kyrie, maybe Donovan Mitchell. I don't want to be Kanye on the court. In my opinion, I see what you're saying. I almost feel like they probably shouldn't have, shouldn't have made this a basketball shoe. But overall, though, the look is dope. Whether you it's a basketball shoe or not. I have to take it back look, a little look bit. Look-wise, no go. I have to oh take it back. Look-wise, no go. I saw a Kanye interview recently where he kind of gave an idea and showed all of his samples and stuff like that. And I've seen the creative. But these are still ugly. Yeah. This, I just call it what it is. That's it's still what, ugly. I, I, I'm 2019. We gotta say things are ugly if they're ugly. And I that's, call it how it is, That's baby. what it is, right? <laughs> a spade no, is a spade. No matter the creativity process, what they were thinking, it's as ugly as ugly. It's ugly. Hey. I'm sorry. I'm saying aesthetically, hey, he, he I like him a lot. Kanye, I, mean. I like him a lot, all right? right? You can catch me in these right here. Really? Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm going uh, drop for these. Yo, Johnny you know Drop. Feel. Cop. Wow, even with the retail price of 350, you're gonna co-cop? Woo, did not know that, Yeah. but. I think a premium Kanye shoe is worth the price. Wow, all right, we're what going. All right, Tan saying he gonna cop the like Adidas uh, Yeezy basketball sneakers. No set date yet. Let's move on to the next sneaker. All right, so next sneaker up, we got a, a new silhouette right here, the Air Max 200s. They're coming hard yeah. this year. So you know they have the uh, 320s and yeah. 270s, but obviously now a little bit more of a subtle air bubble, you know? Bam. Let okay. me know, let me know, let me know. Only 120 bucks though. They're kinda hot. Okay. The guy, you okay. know, I, you know what I like about it is it, it, it has a nostalgic feel to it, mm. but then it also has a futuristic look with all the designs. I feel like we're that on the have. same page on this hey, one. I, these are a lifestyle. I, I, I like these more than the uh, 270s, which you love. The yes, 270s, don't yes, you? Those aren't bad. Yes. You those aren't bad. You did a, you did a campaign for them. <laughs> you said you like them too. <laughs> <clears throat> These, These are better. Are better. These are better because sometimes with the 270, that Air Max bubble looks too crazy. It looks kind of like a wedge. Yeah, I like the colors. And yeah. I was gonna oh. say, until I see more colors, I, I don't like. How the many colors. colors you need? They got about three, four, five <laughs> colors up in there. You want to see more colorways? Yeah, the color. This color does not go. I don't know what, what are you, you guys talking? are looking at. These are this all is nice coming from the up. man with the Travis Scotts and putting pink laces in them, okay? Yeah. Air Max 200s, I'm gonna go and say cop. Oh, it's a cop. I like uh, These are definitely a drop for me. 120, drop. not bad. All right, let's move on. All right, so next sneaker up, man, we got a, uh, you know, Kith is known to collaborate with a lot of brands. Okay. You know, they've done uh, Asics in the past. They've for done sure. uh, Nike, obviously, a lot. Um, they are revisiting the Asics collaboration with the Keanu 5 gels, all That's right? That's an old school mm -hmm. model right there. So uh, they're pushing this campaign pretty hard. Let's see what they are uh, up to. Bam! Okay. Let me know, let me know, let me know. If they it's one... dropped the clothes with them and everything. Yeah, I feel it. If it's one thing about Ronnie Feig and Kith, 
He knows how to hype up an unnecessary model. <laughs> I thought it was on Johnny on that. I, was, I thought it was on the same page as Johnny with this one. I could already, I could already feel the, uh, the uncle vibes coming over, bro. He's offended right now. All I'm saying, look, these are gonna sell out. I know that, but yeah. mom's saying is Ronnie. You guys over there, what y'all doing over there? You guys could pick another completely cool model. Listen, 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 listen. I don't like it. Ronnie Fog Wash. I wouldn't go that far. That's a heavy he statement. He oversaturates the market with unnecessary collabs that no one asked for. You know that. What about like, Supreme? You Supreme know that whole, you know thing. the whole you know that thing that they do with the uh, it's like no one and then yeah. uh, Ronnie Five yeah. collaboration. Uh, That's what it is. No uh, one's asking meat? for these. No, 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 no. It's items. so ironic that you just said that no one's asking for these, but he just said they're going to sell out. And you said, yeah, they are. They're going to sell out. Because of people like you. <laughs> oh, Asics, they're comfortable. Let they me are. Wear... I'm sorry I don't just wear shoes for fashion, boys. But just let me, let you guys, let bring me it up like you got white feet. Let me, no, it ain't you about the white feet. When you look good, you feel good. Have you ever heard of that? And you know what? This is the new drip. <laughs> can I, can, can, I, can I say at... something real quick? Recently, I have seen Kith Collaboration clothing hit TJ Maxx. Really? No. Yes. That's no. Like, I didn't even know that. That proves Do my you point. Guys think that proves these my point. Are gonna land there? I, I can't know. even defend that. I don't know. I can't even defend that. <sighs> I can't defend it. Y'all at TJ Maxx, I can't defend that. It is undeniable that these are a drop. I can't even. I got heavy feet, dog. I need these. <laughs> I need these. I like color, them. Color palette. Is I like nice, them. Though. I'm trying color to get my wall on. Drop for me. You're saying cop? Cop. Drop. All right, let's move on. All right, so next sneaker up, you know, you always gotta have a pair of Jordans. Of course. Thank you. Of course. Um, Thank so you. these originally debuted as a woman's sneaker, but they were patent leather and people actually really liked them. Okay. And so they were like, hey, let's, you know, release these in men's without the patent leather. Let me know. 160, August, August. 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 Bam. Oh. High cut UNCs okay. right here. You almost get like an oiled leather is what yeah. people are saying. You see a little bit of sheen to it. Go ahead, Johnny. I was gonna say, I do have to say, the non-patent leather and the off-white color, sail little bone color mm -hmm, to it, mm -hmm. does make it look a lot stop, better. Stop, I was, stop, but, stop, but, stop, but, stop, but, you rather have patent leather? I would rather not even drop anything like this. This is decent. No, this is this not is bad. Decent. This is decent. This Jordan is brand bad. is it's saturating decent. the market with way too many Jordan colorways. Ones? These aren't bad though. These remind me of the Obsidian. 12s. I don't know if you guys remember those. Oh my but goodness. That is true. I, I did those kind of that is true. I appreciate the shoe that because true. I, <laughs> I like that they paired the baby blue with a navy. I usually oh, do not like seeing. That's, I'm very, so, that's very unique. I'm tired of seeing the Carolina colorway. That's all I'm saying. That is Carolina. This is homage to the championships that you were seeing. I mean, I mean, the white, white, is the white, I mean white and baby blue, like the off-whites and then the dunks recently, <laughs> the surface. We need to, you know, as us people that put the opinions on sneakers, yes. I think we need to push the envelope and encourage brands like this to venture out more. What about like the Travis Scott's were dope, you know, like these, no. You gotta give, you know, something for the masses, man. Richie, Richie want more of the frills. This is obtainable for I want the frills, I want the thrills. Yeah, Thank you. The frills, I want the frills, I want the, the thrills. I'm going yeah. drop for these. I'm gonna drop too, man. I'm gonna cop, these aren't bad at all. These all are right, not bad at all. All right, let's move on. All right, so next sneaker up, you know, we're talking about diversity over here. We gotta bring up a Reebok sneaker. So these are called the Interval 96s, debuted in 1996 as a running sneaker. But you know, back then, innovative sneakers are now kind of like our lifestyle sneakers. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Let me know. Bam! Okay. 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 These are uh, very bold. And when I say bold, <laughs> is out of all the shoes I've ever seen in my life, I've never seen the uh, the actual symbol of the shoe, the logo, that big. All oh, over like okay. that. That thing is huge. But you gotta you gotta say they incorporated it pretty well. <laughs> yeah. Like it I'm almost sure. it looks like a design rather like than part a logo. Of the shoe. Yes. Oh, uh, I know Reebok logo when I see one. Mm -hmm. And that's the first thing I saw when I saw the yeah. shoe. Yeah. Okay. I got mixed feelings about this, man. I got it has what you need? Don't <laughs> say you like those ASICs and not even these, bro. Exactly. Hey, these are, I like this, this is for like a little, 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 little ABG you know, type if, chick, if, you if know, with not, some uh, track pants. Kind of reminds you of the Fila shoes yeah, that were hot. Those, yeah. Yes, that had the all over Fila symbol to yeah. it. Let's talk about the logo, man. We always talk about Puma. We give Puma a hard time. Like if they had less of a logo on there, it would look better. I agree with Reebok the same way as well, too. No, I don't think no. these are gonna bring them back. Nope. These are definitely not gonna help their you case. You know what these are? What? Statement piece. You know what they are? Not back recognizable. In, back in the game, back in the game, you need Please. to let people know, Please. Reebok, we Who back. they got? Who they got? Who are they? Who's I think they still right got now? Rick Ross on their, uh, Who? Ro Rick Ross? No, no. Look, <laughs> Reebok? 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 Didn't they have a uh, Tiger? 
Let's be great. No. He had his own Reeboks. No, he, Tiger, Tiger did the Tiger got his little if taste. It's, if it's <laughs> anybody who could bring back Reeboks. It ain't Tiger. It's Tiger. No. He had the biggest comeback no. of 2018. All I know is you're not going to catch me in these ever. Ever. Um, okay. I'm not going to you, you, you know, don't, I'm not going to catch me in them too, but I think they're a nice debut for a comeback. I like him. I like him. I think they could have had a lot of other shoes to do for a comeback, but I'm gonna say these are a drop for me, y'all. Drop? Drop. drop. I say mm, cop, I say cop. All right, All right, let's move on. All right, so next sneaker up, we got a uh, Versace sneaker. Wow. Versace. And this is a collaboration with Concepts, the store. And it's to pay homage to Jennifer Lopez's dress that she wore in 2000 with to the little, Grammys. With a little thing out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Diddy did, did days? Diddy days. I know exactly what Josh is talking about. So uh, let me know these are a thousand bucks. Let me know. Bam! Okay. The only person to be rocking these is J-Lo herself. <laughs> and I don't think she would be rocking them. All right, Concepts, you guys have a dope opportunity to have a collaboration with a brand like Versace and you guys want to do a shoe that is inspired by J-Lo? J-Lo's J -Lo's dress? J-Lo's hot? Yes. She was just in the Khaled video. She making a little comeback herself. Let me tell you something, man. She she coming back, man. You don't like she the little Latina strong, flavor? Man. You don't like Latina flavor? Come on, my love, and I yeah, gave man. you a boy. No, you better start disrespecting J Lo hey, like that, top boy. Three, J Lo songs, I like. Uh, Wait, I'm real with uh, Ja Rule. Ja Rule, yeah, but what does this have to do with streetwear? True. That's what does wow. this have to do with streetwear? I want to maybe see a. We're just saying we like her. A hot oh, shoe. Okay. But a hot shoe, a hot shoe. Hot shoes, hot. This is hot color wise. Color wise, you know, whatever. Yeah. I can't say it's not bad. The nice little green tones, little Cause that was a blues, really nice dress the white soles, okay? <laughs> you got the little gold on the inside. I like how they I paired like it with that. the uh, brown pants. This right is like crazy. Wow. It's just don't scream adult collaboration. That's even her body. You know how they had the little split and thing? That's, her, that's the color of her body right there, boy. Wow. <laughs> you told me the execution they, they, they went the extra mile. They got Cause everything. they did the tan skin yes. right there. Oh, wow. Come on. Crazy. I like them. I'm going to say cop. I don't, I don't like if the- If this is your flavor, cop I don't like the- um. You know, big name brand, um, high end Versace and Triple S shoes, but these are hot. Not bad. Lil Baby go Steve Bean Rock Rock. Lil Baby, that Lil is a little little baby rock shoes. <laughs> What do you think? What do you think? I'm gonna go straight up drop and drop. Yeah, drop. All right. This is crazy. All right. All right, so last but not least, you know, uh, continuing the uh, diversity, we got a pair of Converse's okay. with the collaboration with the streetwear brand Chinatown Market. This is the most diverse episode I think we had in Converse. For sure, yeah, for sure. Why not just all Nikes today. Not just all Nikes. Day. Collaboration with Converse on some Chuck Taylors. Okay. UV activated, so when you put them under a UV light, it okay. changes colors. This is not wild Ooh. already. Bro. Okay. In my opinion, I feel like this is a little bit of a letdown. What? When it comes to Chuck, how often do you walk under a UV light? It's not oh, often. But what true. I'm saying is, I should go black look, black light parties. Look, 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 Johnny like black look, light look. parties. You freaking me out like. All I'm saying is with Chinatown Market, you know the brand that you I guys like represent, fun. outlandish screen print designs. I would figure. No, but they're also I like, no, I like that. I like the, no, I like no, the no, no, innovation. No, no, no. Yeah. But yeah, how often are you gonna go under? It's like when people that's get the, the black point. light tattoos. That's not the point. Weird. That's not the point. Hella weird. weird. That's not the point. Look, look, have look, you ever look, considered a black no, light tattoo? I, I don't have any tattoos, Richie. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm just asking. Now, you know. All right. Look. All right. I don't know how long Converse Chuck Taylors have been out there, right? Decades. Yeah. Okay? And it makes you wonder every time how can they be more re-innovative? How can they be? This the ain't it though. Tight though. This but is not it. The cool part about it is how Chinatown Market, you take a look at their brand, is a very colorful brand. Okay? And the fact that they kind of mimicked the little colorful, you could play, change play on it yeah, when you go into yeah, black lights. He, he, they tried. Yeah. Actually, I'm thinking about Converse. They've actually tried. They did the uh, lunar insoles. Okay. Duds. They did the uh, <laughs> collaboration with Fear of God. Duds. Why are they still around? These are gonna just add to the duds. Why are they still around? Box of milk duds. Why are they still around? All I'm saying is about a whole box of duds. You act like they execute every collaboration. This no. is just one of those collaboration that they just I didn't say that they did. I just appreciate this and I appreciate that they added the, the uh, Chinatown Market. Because you like S Chucks, so you would rock with these? I would rock with these. You really would. Yeah, if the, yeah. Color, if the color switch on the wow. palette that I like, I might rock with ah, them. Nah. In my opinion, Chinatown could have came way harder with this harder. one. Uh, I'm gonna have to say these are a drop for me, y'all. Way harder. I'm, simple I'm shoe, drop. simple collab. I like it. I'm saying drop. All right, let's wrap up. All right, guys, thank you for checking out that cop or drop on upcoming sneaker releases. Let us know what your favorite sneaker was. What, what was one sneaker that stood out to you guys? Mm. 200s. Did you do 200? Those are not really, bad. Those I really are not like bad. I already know, man. Maybe that 14 pair minimum? With the Yeezy basketball shoes. Wow. Yeah, I no guarantee way. you, I'm gonna be in those. No way. I'm gonna be in those. I'm gonna be in the Reeboks. I'm gonna be in the Reeboks. I'm gonna hold yeah, you to that. sending you a pair. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only thing I see, dog. You ain't buying My man, my man, my man, up a brand deal real quick. He got a brand deal coming. You ain't sneaky. You ain't sneaky. Boy. Ho!
<laughs> All right, guys, that's pretty much it. Make sure you guys check out Johnny's Instagram. He has some new music coming out on the way and a music video. Make yes, sure you guys sir. check out Tan's Instagram. Make sure you guys follow them and Sky's Instagram. And until next time, we out. Peace. All right, guys, thank you for checking out that cop or drop. Let us know what your favorite sneaker was. Let us know if you guys agree or disagree with our opinions on these sneakers. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.